Absolutely a gorgeous day here in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. Three different lakes straightaways, three different radius corners, three different bankings in the corners, and unique on an oval. You gotta be a little shifty. Drivers will be shifty today. Nine different winners in the first 13 races thus far. Who will go to victory lane today? Pace car on pit road. Green flag is out, and here we go. Kyle jumps out in front. Ryan Blaney goes with him. I've heard all the talk about you no know, win, the Wood Brothers win again, uh, all that stuff, and it's almost more motivation saying that yeah, our team deserves to win, and it should be it should be win, not if. Bad vibration, under load, under bridge. Okay, if you need a bit, come on. May pitted the first to do so on lap 13 to bright sides only, and he had a vibration, so a loose wheel for Blaney. He had to come back in. I put two tires on it, and you know, we were going to run that segment on two anyway, so we just put two on to save some time, try to stay on the lead lap to the end of the segment, which is what we did. Kind of set up what we did the rest of the day to try to regain track position, and you know, at the end of the day, it worked out. Do you keep hearing somebody key up, but they don't say nothing? Yes, I do hear that. It sounds like the car. We had radio issues to where I could hear the team, uh, but they couldn't hear me. They could just hear uh, kind of the key up of the mic and not hear my voice. So it was obviously something wrong with the microphone. Explain to him what we're going to do, and this is how we're going to get through this. And um, you know, he stayed calm and, and worked through it. The rest of the day, we'll be watching you. If you're loose, stand on the roof. If you're tight, stand on the door. We figured hand signals on the door and roof, and then thumb up, thumb down for if I agree or not. Uh, so we were able to uh, work that out, which was uh, which was fortunate for us, for sure. Green white checkered is displayed, and Kyle Bush comes across the line. He will win stage one of the Pocono 400. Jimmy Johnson slams the wall in Pocono. Oh, my. Now another car, Jamie McMurray, is up into the wall. Caution here at Pocono Raceway. It's turned into the red flag. That red flag was kind of calming everything down. Like, OK, we can talk. Not really talk, but we can communicate the best we can. Where we were at at the time was perfect. I was right really close to them. And, he would ask me things, and I'd go thumb up or thumb down with what I thought. Uh, I was able to give him water temperature readings. That was definitely uh, something really good that played out for us. White checker flag is out, and Larson will win stage two. Kyle Busch second. Green flag is back out, and Kyle Busch is trying to get going, and he will do that. Here's Kyle Busch into turn number one with about a three-car length lead. Ryan Blaney back in line in the number two spot. He's uh, ridiculously fast when he wants to be. Yep. No doubt if it stays green, we'll be lucky to finish second to him. With the loose wheel and the radio issues, I was trying to get out of here with a decent finish, and that's what we were working towards. Coach him here, he can't talk to us, so just a long way back to the next car, keep hitting your marks. About 30 to the next car here, 20 to go. Trouble is turn one, Casey Kane is up and into the outside, retaining wall. Boy, Kyle Busch did not want to see that. He was long gone but not anymore. I think we should pit right here. You and Mike, if you agree? Pit road is open. Kyle Busch stays out. Well, he's got a fast car, but I don't know about that. When that caution came out and the 18 chose to stay out, it opened up a window where it's like, OK, we can go win this thing. Really proud of you here today, bud. We've overcome a lot of stuff here to be sitting in this position with 15 to go. So thank you for working hard all day. Get you a good start here. Have some fun. We restarted fourth there. Kyle gets the big jump. He'll lead with Ryan Blady now pulling up. I said to myself, if we can get to second, we have a shot at it because I knew his car would start to fade, and it was just a matter of time before we get him. Still there, corner. Back corner. Clear, clear, clear. All out front here, Buck. Go get it. He's going after the race lead. Ten laps to go. Ryan Blady is on the move. He got pretty tight off the of three and I was able to get a big run on him down the front. He blocked it like he should. You know, we're going for a win and blocked us all the way down to the paint, it feels like, and then I, I had to get up for turn one. I wanted to make sure I got a better arc than he did. And I was able to cross under him with the new tires that we had, and he slowed us down a good bit. Kyle Busch is going to crowd him down there. Oh, my gosh, he threw me all over the eighth. We took him to the infield almost. Luckily, we were still able to get drive off of that corner to stay side by side with him into three. And I figured once we got into three, if we could get him on my quarter and I could gas up and clear myself, I figured we had a good shot. So we clear him. Clear him. Got the clear. Clear. Leaning to the front. The 21 right. car to the lead. Hit your marks. Drive away, bud. And now Blaney has a half second lead. Harvick is coming. Kevin was super fast all day. 
and I knew we had to run some really good laps to try to stay in front of him. He was on a mission for sure. Boy, this is going to be a nail biter. I, I mean, Harvey is right there. If Blaney makes one mistake, he'll get him. A lot of respect for Kevin I've had over the years. He could easily rough me up and, and went on to win the race, but he drove me very clean. To me, that meant a lot. And here they come. The winner at Pocono, Ryan Blaney for the Wood Brothers. Wow. What a race. Wow. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'll cheer for you. I'm sorry you can't talk, bud, but I'm so proud of you today. Great job, brother. Love you. I was pumped up doing it the way that we did. Go and pass the leader and then hold off someone who was faster than us. I was pumped up. And just to know that we won for the Wood Brothers was super cool. The whole team's worked so hard with so much effort into building this team to what it is. To see the excitement on everybody else's face is what means a lot to me. The history behind the Wood Brothers is really special. It's been great to drive for them for the past couple years, and uh, hopefully we keep doing you know bigger and better things.